Hey, what's up and welcome. I'm Matthew Msingati, the designer and developer from South Africa. This is my YouTube channel. Guess what has happened? We've just earned ourselves one subscriber. Okay, last time we were, on, we were sitting on 136 subscribers and now we're sitting on 137. I'm so excited. We're continuing with our um, uh, Next.js uh, WhatsApp web um, user interface UI. Okay, let's just jump straight into it. Okay, this is the code. Okay, this is the code. Uh, in the previous video, we've explained uh, JSX and we've explained uh, the layout. So, what are we going to do in this video? Okay, in this video, we are going to create our own first um, React component. Okay, but we are not just going to create a very lame react component like test or running an html test at least we are better than that we are hard workers we push ourselves we push our limit we push forward so what we are going to do here recently or uh, previously when i am adding uh, icons this is how i used to add icons okay let's go back here okay this is our whatsapp uh, project okay as you can see this is a logo this is an svg logo and this is an svg logo so these svg logos are sitting here okay this is the svg logo and this is the svg logo as you can see these are svg files so this is how i use to add icons because i saw from this template as you know by now that we i'm not mr know it all we are not perfect we are not saying we are the expert i'm not a guru but i also learn so I just saw that oh these guys they have got this svg here so i can create my own svgs so as a graphic designer i used figma to create my own svgs and that was done but now that's not the i necessarily that's not some sort of an improved way of doing things you know it has got some limitations for instance if i want to change the color here i cannot do it with tailwind or with css because this is more like the same as an image okay this is just like an image okay now i learned uh, a another way obviously it might not be the best but it solves the problem of styling your your icons for instance when i hover here i cannot change the color of this but now i have found a way in which we can do that even this one it might not be the best but it will solve our problem and what that one is let's introduce uh hero icons which is uh a website by tailwind css okay hero icons which is a website uh, just like uh, a website by tailwind css okay i was going to say um it's just like a font awesome okay which is some sort of a library of icons of svg icons so tailwind css decided to create this website hero icons where you can just get the icons and integrate them in your own react app okay my way uh, my wi-fi is slow not a problem so now what we are going to do we are going to create a new react component that will render icons for us so now we're not going to do it the old way you know since i make a graphic designer it is i look it was it did no harm to create my own icons but however that's not the ideal way okay because there are icons that are existing okay so now we are going to create a component that will only render icons for us okay so this is something like this okay let's say uh let us go okay we are going to create this as a component that will just render the icons for us only this but remember i told you with react js you can make everything a component a sort of a fragment okay everything can be a fragment for code reusability and also it's easier and clean to to read okay so we are going to create that component okay what do we need we've got our um, okay we've got our hero icons uh, website opened let's go and create that component okay now let's create a folder where on the app okay folder on the app let's create that let's name that folder component obviously i have to open my own screen keyboard here okay so that i can type the letter c okay because my keyboard that is it doesn't have that okay components okay 
components then we are done okay if you did that you created this folder i'm proud of you okay let's continue okay now what is going to be the name of this component mm, let's say icon render icon render it is too much it's too long this is a very small component let's call it icon okay i hope it's not going to clash with some other names and whatever but i don't think so okay let's rename here let's just call it icon okay let's call it icon okay dot jsx okay okay so meaning that we are creating a component just like this page even though this page has got a lot of uh code but a component doesn't really have to have a lot of code even though it looks like it's a page a web page but it's a component anyway okay and then um what we want to do before i show you some some shortcuts which i'm not sure if i've installed a plugin here for react shortcuts something like rfce or these shortcuts okay before that let me just uh let's just type this function for the sake of us uh, memorizing the syntax and understanding and making sure that we understand everything and then from then we will get into the shortcut thing okay what we need to do as i told you that um, jsx it's uh, uh, javascript and html so let's just create a pure javascript function okay uh, function what's the name of our what what function icon then again we need uh, that c okay let me just uh, leave the function icon and that's it okay this is function function icon i just need to type here function icon okay as you can see this is just a normal javascript uh, function but then you need to some sort of let's say let's use the word display the function whatever the function does whatever it will return it must be display or it must be rendered as some sort of html okay so you need to export that function okay so let's type export okay export default sorry about that export default default what default icon okay that means we are exporting default icon okay now this is more like an empty uh component it's empty okay it doesn't even uh, it doesn't uh, return anything okay let's see um let's say return okay because it's supposed to return something and then we put curly braces okay and then let's make it to return something let's make it to return an h1 okay h1 element okay okay let me just type my name matthew okay i'm seeing this is my african name okay i'm matthew singer okay at least now you know how to uh, some sort of spell my own african name singer this is my african name okay so guys we've just created a component this is how you create a component okay um let me just before i go somewhere else let me just show you if you use a shortcut and whatever and also how the shortcut differs from this component it's rf ce i think this one react functional component what what i don't know the, the other name uh, react functional export component but this rfce stands for that react functional component and then this e i forgot maybe export or something okay let's click as you can see uh, don't mind these errors above here just uh, uh, look at this okay um, we've got import react from react that's what it did but as you can see here we've got function icon so um, where is this function icon coming from it's coming from here okay and then we've got uh, return okay so it's just returning a div with icon and let's see what it has done it has got export default okay this type of shortcut did exactly what we were some sort of about to do or it's similar to this one i thought it was going to give us a shorter version let's just type rfc only and see okay yeah 
Okay, as you can see, RFC gives us a very short version of creating this function. As you can see, it has got almost like one, two, three, four, five. It's almost like five lines, as you can see. Everything is in the same place. But if you can look at ours, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, meaning that uh, we've got export default separately after we've declared a function. But here with this shortcut, what they do, they export the default while creating the function, as you can see in the same line. They export the default and then they create that function at the same time. So that's what I was going to show you with the shortcut. But in the meantime, guys, I, 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 I like uh, practicing, you know, I don't mind typing. So please uh, bear with me. Okay, so I will be typing these things. Okay. So I think we've just created our first component, uh, the component that will render icons from us from this is uh, hero icons or it will render the hero icons. Okay, now we need to test the we need to test the component if it's working. Okay, so somewhere here we need to display whatever that is coming from the component. Okay, what's coming from the component? The component is rendering my name. Okay, okay, now let's see. Let's go to the page. Okay, let's go to the page. And then from then, as you can see, we need to import that component. Remember, I told you that this is not an HTML image. It's a component. And I promise that we're going to create our own image. Okay. So now we need to import. Okay, we need to import icon. Okay, then again, I need that C. I think I must run away with uh, words that include uh, the letter C okay icon from okay okay previously I took time to get this part right okay so now let's see if I'm just I'm going to get it right okay from dot forward slash component I think I got it right okay uh, forward slash component and then from component icon okay last time because the mistake that I did uh, was I just maybe I was influenced by this I didn't put that dot there so whenever I'm inputting my component it didn't work okay what that dot means it just means that you are going to be a, a one folder level up for instance if I'm here on page that's where I am now so I just need to go one folder up okay which is on the app so this means that inside app i'm going to components and then i'm going to icon okay so just importing it and not using it doesn't mean it will be displayed so you just have to use it okay so where are we going to use it we are going to use it here let's just use it anywhere here okay icon Okay, now let's see where is it going to be rendered. As you can see, here is it. Okay, we can also change it the location. Okay, we can render it somewhere here. Okay, after the logo. Okay, after the logo, we can render it here. Let's see now where it is. Here, here is it after the logo. Matthew Singat. Okay, now we are done um, some sort of uh, creating the component. Now let's make it some sort of an, an icon rendering component. Okay, uh, now as you can see here, let's take for instance uh, any icon. Let's copy, as you can see, copy JSX. Okay, let's copy this JSX. And then let's go to our component. Instead of just rendering this my name, obviously I want to be famous, but not by reinforcing myself. Let me remove this and put that icon. As you can see, this is the icon. Okay, let's go and check if it's there. As you can see, here is the icon. Here, I think it's this one. Here is the icon. Okay, happy with that? Yes. Now, what we want to do Okay, as you can see now, this component, it renders an icon, but it renders a specific icon. Would you agree? So it renders this particular icon only. That's not what we want. We want it to render icons dynamically. Okay. Um, okay, so if we want to do that, um, we need to some sort of change this part. You see this D, this is the actual path. Okay. 
So what we can do here, for instance, we can copy and paste two icons from hero icons. I take this one, copy this. Okay, let's put both of them there. However, when we are rendering two items, this return will complain. Let's see. Okay, the reason why it's complaining is that it only wants to render one container at a time. So what you can do, you can sort of group your containers, okay? Let's just solve it uh, the first way. The first way to go about it will be, create, will be to create a div that will be wrapped around everything. As you can see now, we are only exporting one div. But inside that div, we've got two icons. Let's quickly check that. As you can see, we've got this icon and we've got this one. Now, as you can see, if we can try to be clever, we can copy this D, okay, to this one, making these two icon more like one thing, meaning that we are going to render one thing twice, as you can see. So this tells us that this D is the actual path of the icon, right? Yes. Now, let's make the D dynamic. Isn't that a rhyming thing or hip hop? What what? Maybe I must uh, put it in my I'm not sure hip hop book or whatever. Let's make the D dynamic, okay? So mean that we need to some sort of be able to change this. Okay, we need to to change this so that we can inject it dynamically, okay? So in order for us to do that, we need to some sort of first of all we need to receive information from the component when it's being declared okay now let's say here we are declaring the component here but now here this is where we are creating it so this part and this one they need to communicate how they do that number one this icon needs to have a property okay which is that property it's going to be d let's say it's d is equal to okay let's copy now a different d okay uh, let's copy a different D. Isn't there an interesting icon? I think this is interesting. Let's copy this. And then uh, in this D, let's copy only that, this one. Okay, that means we can copy this as it is. Okay, and then delete this. Okay. Delete this. Okay, guys, as you can see, now, where we are declaring the component we've got a property a prop with is d okay now as you can see at the moment we are not using it here we've just passed it but we have not received it okay so now let's go to our own icon let's receive it here as prop okay okay so how do we access that uh that d okay that path so what we are going to do on the first one the top one we are going to remove this uh string and then we're just going to put kelly uh kelly brackets kelly braces is this one no okay we're going to put kelly braces and we're going to type that prop dot d okay prop dot d this means that this is what you have received from from here okay that means the top icon is supposed to change as you can see it's changing to whatever d that we are putting there okay meaning that now we can delete this one because it's not dynamic then we are having this one so instead of as you can see instead of having duplicate this one and this one and this one now we are only going to have one component and we can render it as many times as we can how can we do that look at how cool this is where is it? now i'm lost in my own code sorry for that let's just copy this and render another one the only thing that we will change is the d value okay sorry about this okay the only thing that will change is just the d value okay that means i only change this d value let's go there what do i want let's look for some sort of um, can I search here and look for network icon I understand this is not necessary but I'm um, just excited I hope I could uh, let me just type this one take this one okay then again we just copy this D guys I hope you are following if you are not following and you're lost please shoot a comment below we will quickly fix that 
take it from there. Okay, and then from then we're going to change this D to this one. Okay. And then that is it guys. I'm not going to make this uh, video longer. As you can see, we've just created a component that renders icons for us dynamically. Okay. So now we just put this icon and we pass uh, the actual, uh, let's say, um, icon data or path data. And then from then the icon will be rendered. The interesting thing about this is that we can some sort of manipulate a lot of things. Okay. Um, in closing, let me just show that manipulation a lot of things. I'm looking for color here. But I don't see it. Okay, let me say text color or text red. Okay, which is I need this class name. You know by now that my keyboard uh, has got a problem with the C word. So if I can copy things, that will be interesting. Let's see. Okay. Now this is uh, Tailwind CSX text red. Okay, let's just click any of these. Okay, text red. Let's see. This is supposed to, one of these is supposed to change the color. If that happened, then we know we are good to go. As you can see, it doesn't refresh. Let's just force it to refresh. Okay, if it doesn't change, guys, uh, don't mind about that. Uh, we will see uh, what we can do in order for us to some sort of make these uh, these changes. Maybe... We just need to go and change it here. Okay, let's see if that is necessary. As you can see, uh, where is that? Here is it. We need to change it here. Sorry about that. Uh, as you can see, stroke. Let's just type red there and see. Boom. And that is it, guys. Um, I'm Matthew Singati, the designer and developer. I hope you are learning something. If I'm going too fast, please let me know. If I'm too slow, please let me know. I'm willing to adjust, adapt, and improvise, okay? Otherwise, for me, Matthew Singati, don't forget to support my channel. I'm happy. I'm excited. I've just gained one subscriber today. I was sitting at 136, and now I'm sitting at 137. Let's push, guys, until I get, what, 200 this month by the end of the month. That is it. Don't forget to support my channel. Let's learn together. See you on the next one.